Okay, hello friends. Today is December 30th, and I thought before the year ended I would make a final video of the year, and this is a part two of the Harris RF 3466 Universal HF modem. Uh, this is the second part uh, of a short series. The first part, uh, please watch that if you haven't. The first part goes over uh, all the inputs and outputs and, uh, you know, what signals we're going to need to interface it uh, with this transmitter and a receiver uh, and a computer. All the things you need, you would want to do with, a, with an HF modem. Uh, and so for this video I thought I would go over some of the, some of the, uh, the, the functions, um, the options, and if we have time, which I hope we will, uh, we'll go over the, the, how the wiring all works and maybe even hook up a computer and some audio and, and, and watch how this thing operates. It's, it's quite a lot of fun and I'm very pleased so far how it's coming together, although it has been a bear. Uh, the, the connections to this uh, and the serial components and uh, Bordeaux to ASCII and 45.5 baud to 9600 baud, it's, it's been, and, and then you know, DTE, DCE, crossover cables, straight cables, 9-pin, 25-pin, you name it. This project's got a little, little something for everybody. Uh, so, okay, um, so let's, let's get right into it. Okay, so let, let's, let's go over uh, some of the, the, the things on this. So you've got a power switch. This is a little uh, door here with some functions. You can, you can set, put in numbers, for example, uh, board rates or uh, mark space frequencies, you know, 21, 29, or, or what have you. Uh, you could put it in remote mode. We're not going to be using remote um, in, in this case for this project. Um, this is a programming button, so if you press that, the whole thing goes into a programming mode, and, and we'll show you how to do that. Uh, and then there's a self-test. Let's just do a test to see what it looks like. This is the test button here. Hopefully you can see this. Okay, it says there. Are, you can either return by hitting number 9 or continuing the test. We'll press alpha. Uh, if you can see here, there's a little button here called alpha. We'll press that. And we'll let it just run through its tests. This will take a, 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 a minute or two. You can see it's testing RAMs, testing ROMs. There, there's, there are something like three, three 80, 80188 CPUs in here uh, and three um, uh, DSP, digital signal processing chips. We've got quite a lot of stuff going on. Okay, and it tells you everything's passed. Hopefully you can see this okay. Decoder RAM, Hilbert, always like that. Various different waveforms. Loopback tests, some canned FFT tests. This is a, a serial loopback test. And that's it. Test is complete. All right, let's go through a few other other things here. So, as I mentioned in the first video, which you, you should, again you should watch if you haven't, there are two completely independent demod modulator demodulators in here. There's a channel A and channel B. Uh, these lights, these LEDs, light up when this modem is sending data, and whether it's sending to A uh, from from ch to channel A or channel B. Uh, and then you've got a signal presence, which means it's receiving, it, it's decoding, it's, re it's receiving uh, tones that match the tones uh, in, the, in the, how you've got it set up. And because it's matched, uh, it's, it'll tell you it's, it's got a, a proper signal. So, for example, if you have a mark space, a mark frequency of 2129 or something, if it's, uh, only if it's receiving the 2129 uh, will it uh, show up signal presence. Uh, data sync, we don't really use. Fault and remote, we're not going to really use. The other thing I'll just show is this, this meter button. What we're showing here are basically the modes. I'll go through all this and the, and the settings. Uh, but you could also uh, convert the display to a meter. And let's see. I guess it only works. Uh, let me see. Okay. So let me show you what I did here. So I, I stuck it in FSK mode. We'll go over this in a little more detail. And in this mode, it has a meter feature. And it'll tell you the signal strength of, in this case, channel A mark frequency and space frequency. And there's a sort of a barcode, bar, I'm sorry, a bar graph uh, that 
tells you the signal strength, the audio signal strength. And then, of course, it'll tell you the B channel mark and space, but uh, we're not going to be using that in this, in this case. Okay, so let's go back. So when you turn it on, it, 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 it starts off in 39 uh, tone mode, which is one of, the, one of the modes it has. Let's go through all the modes. And to do that, you go up and down on this uh, mode switch here. It's mode button. Uh, okay, 39 tone, robust serial mode, FSK, um, which is you know what we're mostly going to be using. Uh, and then it's got combinations where I, I think what this is doing is channel A, with let's say upper sideband, is going to be doing the 39 tone, and channel B, for example, the, the lower sideband, uh, would be doing FSK. And so you can actually transmit two simultaneous different modulation waveforms uh, on each independent sideband. Uh, again, this is most likely for redundancy or uh, you know, a best signal um, reception based on uh, uh, propagation conditions, etc. Here you could do robust serial tone and FSK combined. And then you've got a fixed preset menu. The, the, this is really, the, the, the modem comes with certain preset modes in it. Um, and this is how you get to those. Uh, and then this is our presets. This is the user presets that we'll go through. Uh, we'll go through this shortly. Um, and then you're back, back to the beginning. So let's take a look and let's go to FSK mode. Once you're in FSK mode, then you can, in whatever mode you pick, you've got options and then options have settings. So we can go through options. So here it's telling you uh, your A mark and space frequency, B mark and space frequency. Uh, now A1, the, this is like sort of a, uh, uh, a parameter number. This is channel A01, the first parameter. Uh, receive baud rate. Oops, hit the wrong button, didn't I? Uh, okay, transmit mark frequency, uh, transmit space frequency, and receive mark uh, frequency. Uh, receive space frequency. So all four can be set independently, or you can gang them together. There's an option to say just follow each other. Uh, Rx and Tx should follow each other. And okay. And now uh, we're to the to the B modem, the, the B channel, and we go through the exact same options. And uh, if you want to, for example, change one of these, uh, you just literally use the option. And this has got point has got a half a hertz uh, frequency adjustments. So you have uh, you could very finely tune what you want these frequencies to be, or uh, you could just type it in. Uh, and by using this, I'll say I don't remember what it's supposed to be twenty two. 95. Very simple. Okay, so let's, oops, hit the wrong button again. Let's go back to this mode. Now, if, um, as you see, there are only a handful of things that you can change, but in reality, there are, there are really uh, quite a number of things you can change, but those are only accessible through the programming function. Let's go through the programming. We'll, we'll go into programming here. Okay, it's blinking to tell you that it's in program mode. Uh, and let's go through the options again. You'll see we'll have a lot more. Um, okay, uh, a, uh, a mark, B mark, okay, uh, these are the same, up until about six, okay, now you've got the new things, now you're going to, here's where you say you want these channels A and B to work independently, or you want them to work in diversity, and by diversity it means, for example, two receive channels on two receivers, uh, probably with two antennas or two locations, will combine and produce the best signal, the best result out of both of them. Independent or diverse. So we'll keep it independent for now. Uh, the transmit board rate, this is going to, um, um, this almost doesn't really matter because it's going to be based on the signaling that comes into, this, into the modem, but that's okay. Let's keep going. Threshold track, this means um, the, the system will uh, adjust, will uh, dynamically adjust to audio levels, uh, modulation out, uh, and so, uh, well, it's, it's one of your options, whether you want it to be switched, meaning uh, uh, turn on the transmitter, send the transmitter, or not switched, off or on all the time. Polarity, so this is, uh, you may have heard of in having to invert uh, audio, and so, for example, if um, somebody has a mark above space, 
uh, or you uh, are mark uh, space above mark, you can switch that here by saying you want to invert both transmit and receive, receive only, transmit only, or leave them, uh, leave them correct, both of them. So it allows you to change uh, the inversion of this. Oh, shoot. All right, let's go through that again. Sorry, hit the wrong button. Uh, mark hold. This is a common thing to keep the receiver on the other end from uh, receiving noise. Now, this is an interesting one. So you can set this up as, as you saw earlier. This is set up for a mark frequency and a, and a space frequency. Instead, what you can do is set it for a center frequency and a shift. So uh, many of the military users might use something like uh, 2000 hertz center frequency and plus or minus 425 hertz or a total shift of 850 hertz. Um, and uh, we, we can, we can uh, change for that. And if we do that, uh, well, let's leave that here for now. Let's go through the other options. Track tune. So if you have a situation where the, tra the transmitter that you're receiving from is not quite on frequency or is moving or has a Doppler shift, for example, on a vehicle or maybe a, a satellite of some kind, uh, it, will, uh, it will track, it will change the mark space frequencies to adjust for what it's hearing. Very cool. Uh, sum the A and B. Uh, okay, and then we do the exact whole nine yards for the B, for the B uh, channel. The whole same thing. So now what you'll see is uh, we're back to the main FSK menu. And instead of saying mark frequency and space frequency, it says frequency center and frequency shift. And so this is where you would do something like, um, uh, I'm trying to remember how to do this. Uh, we would do, for example, let's say 2000. Let's see. We have to go to it. Okay. Oh, yeah, here it is. This is where we change it to say 2000 for the center frequency and the shift, say, 450. And again, you, have, you can shift by one half, uh, a 0.5 of a hertz. Okay, and then um, when we go back into it now, you see that uh, we're set up for 2000 hertz center frequency and a plus and minus 450 hertz. So it's got all these great options. And there's, there's a ton more that you can go through, but these are the basic ones. Um, let me see if there's anything else we'd wanna show here. Um, you know, we, we can just, uh, oh, here's uh, other parameters you can set up for the, for the unit if you're using remote, which we're not. Uh, I turned the power up uh, byte built-in test equipment off so it doesn't take a long time to boot up every time. Halt on faults, loopbacks, clocks, all kinds of, all kinds of interesting things. Okay, so I'm going to take it off program mode and I want to show you, um, I'm going to show you this preset mode. As I, so when, when you go through, for example, let's say we really like this setting and all the A channels, the B channels, uh, board rates, uh, everything, and we want to save it, we can add a preset. If you can see here, this little button, I hope you can see that. It says add P, which is add a preset or delete a preset. Uh, and that's what, this, that's what this menu is here, preset mode. And I'll walk you through ones I've already, I've already created. Let's see if I can get this right. Okay, so the first preset I created is called Standard Ridi High. That means the high tones. In the U.S., we use uh, a set of tones for Mark and Space. Uh, it's 170 hertz shift. And there are, you know, uh, I forget, 21, 25, 22, whatever it is. I, I, I can't remember off the top of my head. Okay, that's, so this is already preset up. I did the work already and I stored it. I added a preset and that's it. I called it Standard Ridi High. Uh, here's standard really low. These are the low tones more commonly used in Europe than in the U.S. Uh, and then here is a, a, a military rat net or ready net for military. And this one, if you want to see what's inside of it, I think there's an easy way to... Oops, I forget exactly. Okay. So you see P means we're looking at a preset, not... Uh, and you can see this one is set for 2000 center and plus or minus 425. We could also go through 
this one, let's take a look at that. So the, the standard really low is 1275, 1445 mark space. And the standard really high is 2125, 2229. Uh, okay, so uh, I think that's basically uh, the setup. Now I'm, I'll take you through how I've got this all interconnected and we'll see if we could do a live test.